I need the help of a good mathematician. What can I help you with, doctor? I need to determine how many beds I will need in the ward. Is there any way you can estimate this for me? Well, I could use the Markov jump process to estimate the probability of a healthy person getting sick and the minimum amount of time that they will remain sick. The Markov jump process. What's that? The Markov jump process is a continuous time Markov process with a discrete state space. Like a Markov chain, only the difference is that a Markov chain is in discrete time whereas a jump process is continuous time. I see. Go on. It is used for finding the probability of a life remaining in a particular state for a given length of time. We can estimate transition probabilities from our observations and historical data. In this case the states are healthy, sick or dead. When a person gets sick they move from the healthy state to the sick state, and from there they will either move back to the healthy state again or to the dead state. Okay. So therefore I can work out the probability of a life becoming sick and then determine how long that life will remain sick before moving to another state, so from this you can figure out how many beds you may need. First, I need to work out the transition probabilities. However, we no longer define transition probabilities as we did with Markov chains in discrete time, instead we use transition rates. Transition rates? How do you work them out? Well. We can define transition rates as the limiting functions of transition probabilities over very small time scales. The chapman kolmogorov equations used in the Markov chain process become differential equations. We use the forward equation to find the probability of the life moving out of its current state, whereas the backward equation is used to find the probability of the life moving into a particular state. The transition rates are written matrix form as a generator matrix, with the sum of its rows equaling zero. So how can we use these to help us? From the transition rates we can work out the holding times in each state, in particular the sixth state that you are interested in. The holding time is the minimum length of time the process remains in a state, for example, the length of time someone is sick for. That's great. Just what we need to know to estimate the number of beds that are needed. So you see the Markov jump process can be used in several ways. It can be used to find the probability of a life remaining in a particular state for a given length of time. Also it can be used to estimate transition probabilities from our observations and to calculate holding times and occupancy. Thank you for your help, it has been very useful. You're welcome, doctor.